This is the weather forecast video for Wednesday, January 4th, 2012. Let's take a look at the satellite image from last evening. You see a few high-level and mid-level cloudiness extending from the Great Lakes down into the desert southwest, and some more cloudiness with a new storm over the northern Rockies into the Pacific northwest. Watch morning map from around midnight was fairly quiet across the country. Some wind issues over Montana, some hard freeze warnings over Alabama, Georgia, and most of Florida with freeze warnings down in South Florida. We head to the QPF chart. Precipitation for the next five days through Sunday evening at 6 o'clock shows the precipitation will be staying away from the state with precipitation to our east and in the mountains and in the Pacific Northwest. Here's the Zero Z GFS model run at 6 p.m. this evening. You can see a ridge developing over the southern parts of California with the main storm track coming into the west coast and then down into the center part of the country with a trough over the east producing the cool air but warmer weather is coming our way temperatures be a bit warmer than they were on Tuesday temperatures easily into the 30s to lower 40s across the western part of the state continues to Thursday temperatures well into the 40s maybe a few 50s possible the precipitation is staying away to our northwest, well to our northeast and to our south. By Friday, temperatures will begin to drop back off at least after in the evening hours. Temperatures will be still in the 40s at least on Friday with cooler air coming in with a dry front. Saturday, temperatures back to the 30s. Some lake effect over the lake, some rain over the south, and a fairly strong storm over the Gulf of Alaska. We head to Sunday. There could be a few flurries across the state, but chances are eh, fairly slight at best. Some rain across the south Gulf Coast, a new storm moving into the Pacific Northwest, and again it warms up again, ending into early next week on Monday. Temperatures back probably near 40 again, or low 40s at that time. And by Tuesday, a storm begins to develop over the northern Rockies and northern plains with some snow there. And we're still in the warm sector with temperatures in the upper 30s to mid 40s. A week from today, trough access just to our west, ridge developing over the Pacific coast and into the Pacific with the air coming down from the Arctic behind this front. And you can see pretty cold air up in Canada that'll be coming down and could see some maybe some light snow possible by a week from today we'll see if that happens we head further into the month you can see fairly cold air still up in Canada but we're still in a fairly fast flow west to east but the thing we're looking at is this 1060 millibar high over the Yukon with the Arctic front right at the US Canadian border the cold air just waiting to come down here on the 15th and by the 19th there's still a bit of a wavy pattern across the country a few storm systems well off to our east and west but the main story looks to be the cold weather piece of that Arctic high comes down will be over Minneapolis some precipitation well off to our west and east so some some chances of snow, but very slight at best. Thank you for tuning in to the weather forecast video. We'll have another one tomorrow.